Then again, I'm called for a quest to find the cue. Some heard rumors of it being written on the mighty power stream blog, and this time, there's evidence I hear. Off we go to read the fair news of how does capacity correlate to charge voltage for lithium ion batteries with evidence. This old wizard of the cosmos has dedicated his life without rest nor sleep, studying the intricate life of a mere 60 milliamp power cell for hundreds of thousands of charge cycles are here. Wait, what? He's basing this on one cycle, not 8000, one cycle? Okay, okay. The rumors of an answer to Q was false and untrue, rumors be damned. The old wizard was just a tadpole, claiming tales of Ulysses whilst only fiddling with stones. Claiming to see 8000 cycles into the future, one must have proof. One cycle is not enough I say. Also to have perfected battery testing to the point beyond no doubt one must do, before fancy mathematics, for without accuracy, math is just a game. So let's get serious again. I mean, no disrespect to PowerStream, I too believe this article the first time I read it. I too want proof that lower voltages actually works. That would be awesome. But I need proof. So I read this article several times and, and I did his math and it checks out. But the numbers don't. They never do. That's why you always get graphs when it comes to batteries. There simply are no constants. The test was done on a mere 60 milliamp hour cell, which most likely just tested once on all leveled. But then again, every time you test a cell, it loses some of its capacity. So the order you do this test is crucial for the result. Henrik at LigDeInfo figured out that if you start testing from 3.3 volt to 4.3, you also has to do the reverse and then add the numbers together to account for the capacity loss each cycle. But none of it matters unless you can test for the exact capacity, which is not possible. Capacity does not work like that. I'm sure PowerStream has quality testers, but since it's not possible to test the same cell twice at the same time, accuracy is impossible. It would be a slightly different cell once you have tested it. There might be no change at all, but most like many very small changes inside the battery and it's also impossible to recreate the exact conditions again. Not just internal but also external like temperature, moisture, sunlight and the moon's gravity etc. All can play a small role affecting the output, except the moon. That's just a big old dumb rock. But there is also the accuracy of the tester. Even a perfect one will be slightly off. And will calculating 8000 cycles into the future, even extremely small changes can have huge impact. For example, the butterfly effect. And talking about small changes that can have huge outcomes, let me tell you about today's sponsor. Nobody wanted to sponsor my video. Sponsors are dumb. This would have been the perfect segue for any investment ad. Anyway, the power stream test however is interesting if you want to know how much capacity is available at given intervals for this particular cell or chemistry. Like if you were to build an indicator or if you have a load that only works at specific intervals. If you want to know more, Battery University actually has an article about how hard it is to accurately test batteries. But again, I mean no disrespect, I'm all also wrong quite often, but I must point out two minor mistakes in the article, and that is capacity is always in relation to the load, and no battery will give you the full capacity or even minimum capacity as the highest rated amp straw. That is at least very rare. And the dead battery is not always so dead, since when it comes to cylindrical cells which have fuses inside, a fully charged 4.2 volt cell might actually read zero volt on any multimeter. Limiting DOD is an interesting thought experiment and even if it was to increase the life of the battery, the downside is also pretty huge. Since most batteries are considered end of life, when they are down to 80% of the capacity, what would you even do with a battery that only has 37% of usable capacity? Sure, you can invest in a three times larger, heavier and more costly battery, but that is a big chance since many batteries fail far before they reach end of life. One bad cell can make a whole battery useless, and water damage is always a risk in any mobile application. 